Fish. Pump it up! Yo, what is up guys? It's Tiger Bird here and uh I'm doing a new thing on my channel. It's called Tiger Tuts. It's basically Cinema 4D um tutorials and uh, or just anything tutorial uh dating or what do you call it? Dealing with graphics and so yeah, so what I'm doing today is uh Cinema 4D uh tutorials on how to make a good uh text and Basically what you want to do is get a good Lightroom and I'm going to post this Lightroom in the uh, description and it's a very good Lightroom. I got it from a friend, friend's pack. It's called, um, it's just a Lightroom with text set up, you know, and uh, his name is Mercer Arts, so go check him out. He has some pretty cool stuff up, but what you want to go do is there's already going to be text in the Lightroom, uh, but just for a purpose reason I deleted the text just so you could start from fresh just in case you want to use a different Lightroom and you want to do exactly what this uh, exactly how I do this in your Lightroom so what you're gonna do is uh, put a new text put the depth to 65 and then put the caps put the fillet cap to 0 0.365 put another fillet cap and put it to 0. 365 okay and once you have that you're gonna click control C control V or however you do it on a Mac and you want to lower the depth to 3 and you want to lower it and you want to up the caps to 1 okay and now after that you want to go right here this button so you can get all these different screens and you want to click this the top right one then you want to zoom in and make it even so you want to get this about five times and you want to control the uh, three depth one okay so after that you want to go to number one and you want to click on the blue line and cold shift and make sure it's on 10 centimeters and then let go and do the next one and then go to 20 and then the next one 30, next one 40, and then the next one obviously 50. Oops, there we go. 50. And if you want to do one more just to get the back, and if you want to do one for the front, but that's up to you. Okay, and then it's going to look like this, so it can give like a little rigid outline, and it's going to look sick. So just for purpose, I'm going to use red on this one, and then use the little uh, silver one and here's what you're gonna do you wanna click on this and you wanna you wanna click control and then you just drag them up okay and then you wanna render it out see what it looks like looks very nice looks very clean and then you just wanna change the like you just click on Motex and this one and hold shift and now you can change it all as one and then you can change the font after all this let's give it a nice cool font let's give it a uh, Beavis Beavis oblique and let's render this as gotta delete these the P preset let's go with test okay and what this is gonna do and then I'm gonna bring it into Photoshop and I'm gonna show you what a good uh, way to make it very nice in Photoshop once you do it in Cinema 4D come on it's taking a while because of the uh, global illumination in the other settings I have on my Cinema 4D So while we're doing that, let's open this up. Cinema 40 Windows. Where is test? Let's see, test, 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 test. 
Let's open up this Photoshop. Let's see if Tess got in here yet. T. Yes, T. Okay. Here we go. Open. Cinema 40 vendors. Let's see. Test. Open this. Okay. So look, we have it open right here. It's looking nice. It looks very nice. Um, so then you want to click on effects, gradient overlay, and then you want to put this to overlay. Okay. So you can give it that nice shading at the bottom. And then you want to do either, you want to do inner glow. You want to change this to white. You want to go opacity all the way. And then you want to go overlay. So we can just give it that little shiny outline you can see right there. And then you want to do a drop shadow of, it depends on your text, like either 20 and 10 or 30 and 10. I always do like 30 or something, maybe six I don't know it's up to you but I usually do 30 and 10 and maybe a pattern overlay maybe put this to overlay maybe a pattern overlay of like uh, of this kind of pattern you see kind of kind of gives it that grainy text going to the side kind of looks kind of cool so yeah guys this has uh, been a tiger tutorial on uh, cinema 40 text so please give it a like a rating and a comment and yeah, peace out guys.